got to learn twice as much to get the black, and then you got to learn twice as much to get the second degree black. And so there's some people that might take them, you know, uh, three or four years just to go from first degree black to second degree black. It might take some people five, six, seven years to go from second degree black to third degree black. It might take somebody eight or ten years to go from uh, third degree black to fourth degree black. So when somebody is getting with it, uh, with somebody that's fifth, sixth, and seventh degree black, uh, he's messing with somebody that's probably been doing it since he was about five or six years old for about 25, 25 years or so. So he's got all this knowledge. He knows how to. He's got a lot of athleticism, and uh, uh, and and, then, and they uh, learn the use of weapons and everything else. I so, have one more question. Okay, the it, last it, question it's a, is: It's about like, what about not working on Sundays? Like, if I'm doing the work of God, am I still working, even if people are paying me? Or like, is it? Like, or what if I wash dishes on Sundays? Or like, what, if it's not necessary to do that, I wouldn't do that. It's 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 uh, not necessary sun, to work. Sunday, what if it's necessary Sunday, to work? Sunday Sunday is the first day of the week. It's not the Sabbath day. So the, the Sabbath day the, is Saturday, is it the, not? The prohibition of the scripture telling you not to work is from Friday at sundown to Saturday at sundown. It's not Sunday. So, so it's Friday night until Sunday sat, morning. Until Saturday Saturday evening. From from Friday evening to Saturday evening, that's the uh, Sabbath, and then from Saturday, Saturday evening to the next day, that's the first day of the week, that's Sunday. And so the, the scripture tells you not to work on the Sabbath day. That means from Friday at sundown to Saturday at sundown. So if possible, you don't you don't work on, on that day. So where day. did the Sunday thing come from? Well, see, our Lord rose from the dead on the first day of the week, so uh, it's customary for a lot of believers. Uh, Christians to celebrate uh, uh, a religious service on the on the day of the week he rose from the dead, and that's uh, uh, Sunday, right? Uh, so he rose on the Sunday 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 morning, too. and so uh, and so in, uh, in recognition of the fact that he got, that he rose from the dead on the first day of the week, then they have services on on Sunday. For a lot of people they they'll celebrate the Sabbath right at sundown, the Saturday at sundown. And then uh, they celebrate uh, the first day of the week uh, on Sunday too, and uh, it's all like that. And uh, that, that, uh, that's how they do it. But, however, if possible, you try not to do any work on Friday, Sunday, and Saturday, Sunday, if possible. Try to get things set up so that you, you prepared all your food and all, and uh, you know you can uh, just uh, uh, you know. Uh, just take it out of the ice box and uh, have your dinner. You know, you can. Uh, some people will. Uh, they don't even like to turn the, the, the stove on, and they'll put the, the night before they'll put porridge in a thermos, and it's real hot. And then the next morning they pour out porridge from the thermos, and it's hot and cooked like that. And they got vegetables and everything the same way. So some people don't like to have, uh, you know half a dozen thermoses so they got uh, their uh, they got their scrambled eggs and their porridge and in, in, uh, two of them then uh, they'll have soup and stuff in another thermos I don't understand and then, and why do they do that because like, they don't want to cook see they oh. cook beforehand see and then they keep them in thermals right in the thermals throughout the week or Therm something no on, on from from uh, Friday afternoon see they cook all the oh because they the, can't cook they don't Until want to cook sundown. on the Sabbath day. Ah. Uh, so they'll have, uh, in the morning, they'll have the porridge. It'll be nice and hot. And then at noontime, they'll fix the... What is uh, porridge? Is that like soup? Oatmeal. Oh. And then they'll put, uh, they'll have toast already cooked, you know, already uh, the toaster. Some people, uh, you know, they may have something different. And then at noon, the, they have uh, soup in the thermal soup. Uh, they can keep uh, soup hot for about... About, uh, about 18, 20 hours. So it, they make it super, super hot and pour that in their thermos. And then at noontime, they have a nice hot soup they can eat with their, with their uh, crackers. And then uh, they, all they get, they can, uh, they can have uh, another thermos with uh, super hot water so they can have their green tea with it and have green tea in the morning. And some people, they'll have like, uh, you know, uh, uh, six or eight thermoses. Uh, with hot tea and uh, soup and porridge and uh, everything, see, it's, it's all cooked and it's kept hot in, in, in their thermoses. 
and it, it kept real hot. And so, uh, and then uh, they got a nice hot breakfast, and then, and then they have soup and so on for their lunch. And then in the afternoon, they can have some more soup, or they can have a uh, stew, or you know, or they can have uh, their uh, uh, super hot uh, uh, peas they heated up, or their uh, vegetables, and then they can have a salad they've already prepared. And it's all right there, see? It's, it's like they, some people get away, get, get around the cooking aspect by you cooking late in the afternoon, right before sundown, and putting this super hot food in thermoses. And then see, they can have their dinner, they, they can cook their, have their dinner, uh, and then in the morning, see, they can have their, their dinner that they're just freshly cooked, and then they don't wash their dishes, and then they have their stuff in the thermoses that they have in the morning, and then they have their, their, uh, their soup and stuff, and the thermoses that they have for lunch, see, and they, all they can, all they can pour their milk out, or they can have some hot tea in the thermoses. Yeah. And, uh, they can, they can, they got thermoses that, that will hold a uh, half a gallon of real hot water, super hot water. I mean, it's super hot, even at noontime. The next day, that, that water's super hot, and they use that, uh, they, they make their green tea. Uh, with that, or they can make their instant oatmeal if they want, or they can have oatmeal and make it ahead of time and put in a thermos. But they get super hot water, I mean, they get it super hot, and then they, they just make their instant oatmeal, or they can make their soup, and uh, they can have a couple of therm t couple of 24 ounce uh, thermoses uh, where they're making uh, their soup and that, that, that sort of thing. I'm Trina. Oh, nice to meet you. Hey, what's your brother's name? Ethan. Oh, is that your brother? Or or? It's my buddy. Oh, okay. Just met. Oh, anyway. Uh, I'll be back. Anyway. Uh, I'll see you soon, I promise. But, uh, uh,